really weird in the viewfinder but I don't know if it looks weird on screen I just I hope it looks weird because weird is kind of my thing so hey whatever hey you thanks for tuning in I appreciate you you right there on the other side of that there screen my phone what the welcome to the SB Mitch YouTube channel we are nominated for three YouTube Emmys which is not a thing I'm your host I'm SB Mitch your favorite sneaker YouTube and old guy. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the handle on your screen right now, or you can visit my website. It's called ransomnotesneakers.com, and that's about all there is to say about that. This video is gonna be short. I don't do reviews, nor do I want to even think that this review is gonna be any good, but hey, it's time for all series number 63. Frick did my box cutter go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Organization, professionalism. That's Mitch, baby. Uh, let's see, I got actual things from somebody. You guys should definitely follow him on Twitter. His handle is at NatureBoyChuck. It is written on the screen right now, not written, it's typed. Written by a computer. Written by a robot. Uh, but you should follow him on Twitter. Really, really good dude. Uh, he gave me a very good price on two things that I just thought would be good for the website or to hold for a little bit and then see how they turn out. This was kind of an investment. My box cutter either sucks or he taped this really good. Yeah! Strength beyond strength. That's Mitch, baby. <laughs> Anyways, good price for both of these shipped. Two off-whites. Something you don't really see every day on my channel, that's for sure. So this first one out is a size 10. Thank you, swoosh. This is a blazer. But this is the Grim Reaper blazer collaboration with Virgil Abloh's off-white brand. The biggest thing I like about these, I have an All Hallows Eve stashed away that will eventually be on my foot. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But look at the swoosh on this. The swoosh is magnificently large and it's the same rubber material that's on the midsole, which I think is just a really cool, really cool aspect. Deconstructed feel of all off-whites. The materials on these are really, really cool. There's suede, there's canvas, there's rubber. Bottoms have like nowhere on them. Like I think he wore them once and that's it. So really, really awesome pair. First shoe I got from good old Chuck, the Blazer Grim Reaper off-white collaboration. He just gave me such a good price that I decided I wanna buy him and I also think he used that money to get a pair of unions too, so win-win. Hey, this is the other pair. This is a size 10 and a half. It's a Nike off-white Air Max 90. This is the recent release of the triple black Air Max 90. I have a size 11 up in my closet thing up there. This collaboration surprise. I'm a huge fan of the Air Max 90. I'm just a huge fan of Air Maxes in general. Kinda glad they didn't do an Air Max one. I think the execution on the Air Max 90, both the Desert Ore, which I haven't seen in hand, I've just seen pictures of, but of this one and the original Air Max 90, the execution was absolutely phenomenal. So I have to give them credit for that. Again, just a myriad of materials on here. And this is a dead stock pair, unworn, in a size 10 and a half. This one up on the website. Don't know for how much because I kind of bought it for just a tiny bit under market. So I got to make sure it's going to be worth my while to put it on the website. So that's what I got from good old Chuck. You should definitely follow him on Twitter, at NatureBoyChuck. Really, really good dude. The last thing I got, this is actually a raffle hit. It's already been opened, sorry, but I wanted to see what it was all about. This is a raffle hit from Sneakers and Stuff. I know hitting on a raffle from Sneakers and Stuff is like seeing a Sasquatch. This is from this weekend's regional release of the Yeezy 350 V2. This is a size eight of the clay Yeezy V2. This thing looks different in every picture I've seen, but here it is. Hopefully my camera will pick up enough of what's going on here. The Strap on the back is a very, very almost fluorescent orange. The outsole is kind of two-toned, which is really, really cool. 
standard boost on the bottom. But the prime it, the prime it on this, I'm not, I, you guys know, I'm not an Adidas person and I'm definitely not a Yeezy person. I will say the prime it, let me see if I can get a better look at this. You guys can see the prime it on here. It's very interesting. It's got a lot of hints and a lot of details that I don't think I've ever seen on a V2 before. Like, especially up close. Like, the detail, kudos to Adidas for doing something even a little bit different on a model that a lot of people feel is being overutilized. Now, obviously it's a size eight, so it's not for me. And it's a Yeezy, so it's not for me too. Y'all, if you got any of these, hold them until like June or July because you'll be able to maximize your profit if you're into doing that. But I do have to say, this is an impressive shoe. Like I can't, even I can't knock that. And I knock Adidas all the time. So well done, pretty decent shoe. I know a lot of people don't really necessarily enjoy the transparent thing that's going on here, but you know, they switch it up a little bit. Clay V2, this was this was a regional release. So you gotta keep in mind that Europe and Asia did not have the chance to get these pairs. So the secondary market for this, this release is pretty good. Never thought I'd see the day where I would kind of enjoy it easy, but hey, it is what it is. Remember to go down below, find the link in the description for Nature Boy Chuck's Twitter page and give him a good old follow. Thank you, my friend. I have a lot of videos that are on the back corner. I think there's like four more videos coming out and they're all beater boxes. I, I'm just very, very behind. So I'm going to work <laughs> as hard as I can to get all the videos up so you can watch my stupid face be wrong about sneakers all the time. So till next video, take care of each other. And remember, if you're not having fun doing it, Find something you love doing and do that because it's the easiest way to be happy. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye!